In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at an email worm called Gruel. And we're actually using a Windows XP-based laptop for it this time, because even though this is a Win32-based email worm, which means it'll work on older Win9X systems, we'll see that Gruel was really intent on being run on Windows XP, based on what we'll see in the virus in a little bit. Anyway, here's the virus. Let's open properties to get a little bit of context on this here. So we can go into the version properties and see that, okay, it tries to masquerade that its company is Microsoft. And that its internal name is Semantic Norton Tool. And the language interestingly says it's Spanish. And the original file name, instead of being called Gruel like it is here, it is actually called Semantic Norton Tool.exe. And it calls itself a Windows Critical Update. So we'll see those come into play a little bit here later. So, being an email worm, it'll come on obviously through your email, through an attachment with a message, or in some other cases, it also can come from the Kazaa peer to peer sharing service, which, if you're familiar with what Kazaa is, it can come in through that as well. So, when a user gets this on their system, or whether however they got it, and they execute it. Takes a little time and we get this fake pop-up error message which as you can see I can't move it, I can't select it, it just kind of gets fixed there. And it says Windows has encountered a problem it needs to close. We are sorry for the inconvenience. If you were in the middle of something the information you were working on might be lost. Please tell Microsoft in lowercase about this problem. We have created an error report that you can't send to us. We will treat the report as confidential and anonymous. To see what data this error report contains, you can send the error or send it clues in Windows X found serious error. Hmm. Yeah, this kind of tells you right away that this is not really a legitimate Windows error message. So if you say send error, you see the dialog box closes there, and oh look, Outlook is trying to load up here. So, what do you think it's trying to do being an email worm? It's trying to use Outlook to mass mail itself to all your contacts. And what it will do again is we'll send an email, and it will use Symantec as kind of the whole underlying thing to show how important this file is that you need to get. It'll put some kind of subject line in there with something along the lines of Symantec new virus found, and then in the body of the message it'll say that I think Symantec found a new kind of virus or something, you need to download this Windows update to stay protected, blah blah blah, and then it will attach Gruel in the body of the email as Symantec tool that we saw in the little description there. Since Outlook is not set up, we will do that. So, It's interesting now that we got another Windows error that I can't move. And again, this is another error from Gruel. So now it says it says it's a save dump and it says the computer has rebooted from a bug check. Well, that can tell you from Windows XP that's not exactly what happens. Windows usually restarts from a unrecoverable error, as known as a BSOD or blue screen of death. A bug check was blah 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 blah, NT saved in when NT memory done, etc. etc. And etc. Et I noticed it has a back button. And again, we still get this Windows X found serious error, and it still says Windows has encountered a problem A needs to close. I'm curious what happens if we hit this back button. Oh look, it actually goes back to the original source of the error. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we tried sending the error, and we obviously saw it wanted to mass mail itself. What happens if we save and close? Oops. So what you see happen suddenly now is Gruel starts loading up all these settings windows. And I don't know, <laughs> you heard an error there. Explorer is gone. And let me pan down for a second here. It has opened the optical drive of the computer here. 
Who there we go. So we got all these settings windows that opened up. It ejected the optical drive on the laptop here and as we can see it has terminated Explorer so we don't have a start menu or anything. Let me close out all these windows and then here is the error message that gave us our little ding earlier. It says Kriller Gwait. Your computer now is mine. Why? Because I didn't had nothing to do and I thought why not make the evil? Remember now your PC is in my power. Windows sucks. I can't stand it anymore. Windows has always sucked. Wake up people, it's a scam. You don't need a faster computer, you need a better operating system. Microsoft continually makes money by selling you the latest and greatest Windows. The latest Windows version is always the most inefficient yet, slowing down your fast computer. Also, now you have to upgrade all your other software too because different Windows versions are not compatible with each other. A hidden cost not mentioned at all. It's part of the scam. Capitalism sucks. Communism sucks. Killer quite. You know, this almost kind of reminds me of Windows Vista with what everyone complained about. So we get retry and cancel. And if we just hit retry, it just brings that up. If I hit cancel, it still does the same thing. So all these error boxes are here, and as we can see, I still have this box that I can't get rid of, and I can't get rid of this either. And Explorer's gone, I can't load up any settings things. Can't create new folders, can't do anything. Let's see if Task Manager comes up. Okay, we can get Task Manager. I obviously don't have my run command anymore, so that's one of the things that Gruel does is get rid of the ability to run any new tasks. And here is Gruel running in the background. It says Windows Critical Update. As we saw from the properties dialog for Gruel, that's the actual email worm. But really, from this point, we can't do anything. So I managed to close out everything, but uh, I can't do anything. I wonder if I can bring up... Yes, I can. Okay, so obviously I can bring up the Run dialog box, but I cannot load Explorer. Explorer is disabled. Oh, but look at this. I can still bring up a Start menu. <laughs> You know how to use the keys, I guess it works. Let's see, Internet Explorer. I'm trying to load a web page here. Yes, 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 ask me later. Now, if you look here toward the end of I Internet Explorer, it says Killer Gwait 1.03. I make this virus because I don't have. And I think it's actually cut off because I think it's supposed to say nothing to do or whatever toward the end here. Well, anyway. Let me and see Windows Critical Update. So Gruel has reloaded while I was doing that. So let me restart the computer and see the full extent of what Gruel has done here. So Windows is loaded back up, but I noticed the uh, computer is checking the floppy drive quite a few times when the system loaded here. Something tells me that Gruel is trying to look for any floppy disks in the computer and write itself to them, because it usually does not check the floppy disk when Windows XP starts. So that's something new. We're also having some trouble getting past the boot screen here. I think the system is trying to load, but I think Gruel has severely slowed it down.
I am seeing again occasional hard drive activity, so again, I think it is trying to get Windows XP loaded here. Now, while this is also trying to happen, to some other things that Gruel has done is it has gone into the registry and made some registry entries for, again, disabling things like the run command. If I can get into my computer, we'll find that we may not be able to access the C drive, and it's also hooked itself into certain file extensions like .com or .pif, .scr, etc. so that whenever we try to run those, it will actually just reload the Gruel email worm. In fact, I think one of those other interesting entries is that it's probably locked out Explorer, which is probably why we're not getting anywhere here. Now, see, there's Windows Critical Update, so Gruel has reloaded, and it has disabled Explorer. So that's why we're not getting anywhere. In fact, I can't even right-click on the desktop to bring up a menu. No run command. Let's see if I can close this out. Okay, so when I closed out Gruel, we got Explorer, and it's actually copied itself to the desktop again. We have Killer Gwait 1.03. So, it has copied itself to the desktop there. Start menu. See, our run command is missing from the start menu now, so I can't run from there. My computer, I cannot see the C drive. I can still see drive D, and I still have the address bar. Let's see. Access to the resource C has been disallowed, so it has actually set permissions for the user to not be able to access the C drive. Oops. Accidentally hit the camera there. Has managed to, of course, now it's reloaded itself a bunch of times over. I also have a lot of stuff here on the taskbar missing, application-wise. See, here's Gruel A loaded over and over and over and over. No, can't load properties. And it's even added itself to control panel here as Killer Gwait 1.03. Can't add or remove programs. Well, I can load up that potentially. Can't change the display. Can't change the mouse. Can't change power options. And again, what it's doing here is again, it made a registry entry linking any .scr.pif or any of those kind of file extensions like the control panel here is using. So that anytime I try to load one of these, it's just reloading rule again.